Good morning from Malaga, Spain, in uh, southern Spain, in the province of Andalusia. I am here for the next two days with my friend Catherine, who doesn't drink coffee, so she's still getting ready this morning. I know, who are these people? So I am off to grab a coffee from a local cafe, and then we are going to explore, enjoy the beach, eat delicious food, and I'll take you along with me. Let's go. Hi, I'm Laura Bronner, a gal with a backpack and a camera, traveling the world to learn more about the people and places and food in it, and hopefully sharing some of the magic of those experiences with you. For the next few weeks, I'll be exploring places like Malaga, Cabo de Gata Natural Park, Marbella, and Sevilla. I hope you'll enjoy the adventure as much as I do. Malaga is a city of nearly 600,000 residents along the southern coast of Spain in the autonomous community of Andalusia. I arrived the night before and my first stop was for some tapas and vermouth. I absolutely fell in love with vermouth on my trip to Madrid earlier this year and I was really looking forward to sampling some more while I was in Malaga. This morning was a very quiet Saturday morning on the streets, but luckily the cafes were open and I could enjoy breakfast and a cafe con leche. I am caffeinated up and reunited with my travel partner and now we're gonna do some touring. First stop, the Al Qasaba, which is Arabic for fortress. I haven't double checked that stab. That's actually accurate, but. <laughs> we will soon know. We're gonna go learn and report back. Let's go. I was close. Al Qasaba comes from the Arabic word for citadel, not fortress. The tickets to the citadel costs three euros and 50 cents. But you can also buy a ticket that includes both the citadel and the nearby castle for only $5.50. So you do save a little bit if you plan on visiting both. The citadel was built in the early 11th century by the Hamoudid dynasty. There are citadels like this one built in other parts of Spain, but the Alcazaba of Malaga is the best preserved in the entire country. Beneath the citadel, you'll find the remains of a Roman theater, which was built in the first century BC. When the Al Qasaba was built, many of the materials from the Roman buildings around the city were used, including marble pillars, which you'll find near the passageways around the citadel. After a thorough history lesson, thanks to the audio guide, which is included in your ticket, we headed for a stroll around the city. We explored the Al Casaba and decided that we're gonna do the castle tomorrow because the ticket is valid for two days. So we went back. We changed into bathing suits. And now we're waiting for the bus to go to Pedregalejo, which is a little bit further away. It's about 15, 20 minutes on the bus. Who knows what the bus experience is? We got lots of coins. I don't know how much it's gonna cost, <laughs> but I'll report back. Let's go. The bus costs only one euro and 40 cents, regardless of how far you're going within the city of Malaga. And it took about 20 minutes to get to the other end. The beach was a little bit windy and the water was a little bit chilly, but we had fun plunging into the cold and then headed back towards the city center on foot in search of a chiringuito, a local beachside restaurant in Malaga where we could try espetos. They're locally caught sardines that have been barbecued to order. We are at a Chiringuito, which is a beachside restaurant here in Malaga. And we're gonna try espetos, which are sardines that are specially from Malaga. They cook them over, basically like on a sword, <laughs> for a fire. Laura's already gone and seen them and picked out which ones we're gonna eat. And made friends with the griller, which is key and very yes. her. So yeah, a beer, the beach, 
Our feet are almost in the sand. It's just here, <laughs> next to that child. And uh, it's a great day. We were so full and pretty tired from the sun and sea. So we ended up in bed early, ready for another day of exploring in the morning. On day two, we used the other half of our ticket that we bought from the Citadel to go to Hibral Faro Castle. The castle dates back to the 10th century and offers some of the most incredible views back over the city, but it's quite a steep hike to get to the top. After the castle, we wandered the streets and ate what ended up being my absolute favorite meal in Malaga, and I cannot recommend this spot enough. A few spots I missed on this trip, but I did visit the last time I was in Malaga, that I highly recommend are the Picasso Museum, the Cathedral, which you can actually walk on the roof of, and the Mercado Central de Atarasanas where you can have amazing seafood outside at the dining tables with a nice cold beer. Malaga was awesome. It's such a beautiful place. Um, it probably wouldn't be my top pick for beaches, even in that area. The beaches in Cabo de Gaza really blew me away a couple of weeks ago. So if you were gonna enjoy Malaga, I would highly recommend spending a few days uh, near Almeria and the beaches in Cabo de Gaza. They are incredible. However, the old town, the history, the Alcazaba, the, the castle, the shopping, and uh, bring some good friends. The food was amazing. That last spot we ate this afternoon was so incredible. So yeah, I really enjoyed Malaga. I'm glad I got the chance to see it and spend more time there, really get to know it a little bit more. And uh, yeah, on to the next adventure. I'm already in Marbella. So uh, be sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on that video because that'll be next. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It really supports my channel and I will see you next time. Bye.